Shrank, 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 shrank. Good, 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 Yes. Indeed. Oh, we yeah. are. This could go so, so badly. Itchy, itchy nose. I really like this jumper. I really want it to work. Um. Do I just want to style it like this? Oh, do you know what's going to be kind of crazy? I think I'm wearing an awful lot of different outfits in this whole video. So hello and welcome to another video. I am Molly or otherwise known as Cookie Crayon, but to be honest, if you're here, you probably already know that. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, today, 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 or a few days ago, we, I made, um, a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. Yeah. Full stop. Let's just put a bottle in it and get on with the video. Oh, uh, no, I should probably tell you what my mistake was. I shrank my lovely woolen jumper in the wash and I was quite sad about this because it was a very sentimental jumper. I was given it by a friend in 2019 for Christmas and I shrank it in the wash. I shrank it in the wash. Yep, I shrank it in the wash. Um, so in this video you are going to see me try and fix this jumper, fix this big massive mistake I made. Um, I'm going to turn it into a v-neck sweater vest type thing. Shall we get into the video and enjoy the video? Hopefully enjoy the video. Oh my god, imagine if you didn't enjoy the video. So yeah, let's get into the video. I'll see you at the end. Okay, yeah, all right, okay. Okay, so here is the shrunken jumper in question and here I am just unpicking the front fold of the collar. So, this much was actually stitched down. The rest is just knitted in. So I have come to the conclusion I am just going to have to cut it. Um, I really hope this works. Okay, so there is like a thicker bit here and I'm going to cut on this side of it. So there's always a little bit more to work with if I need it. I just really hope this doesn't make it all come undone. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't seem to be like falling apart, which is good. That's very good. Here it is, without a thing. Now I just need to make that into a V. I think I'm gonna cut it on the far side for now and then just see how the body is. Okay, two arms gone. Now I'm gonna try and get this. On. Okay, so it is on and it fits. It fits quite nicely for what I want it to do. So all I'm going to need to do is cut the V and the arm. I don't have any chalk but I have um, soap. That is what I like to use. Definitely needs to come to at least, at least Okay, so here I am cutting out the armpit holes. I am making the shoulder a bit narrower and the armpit hole a little bit deeper so that they don't cut in. And then I am cutting out the neckline, so making that V neck and taking off that extra bit of fabric. Now I am talking here, but for some reason the audio did not record. So what I am saying is that instead of sewing, I am going to needle felt some wool around the edge to stop it fraying. I was going to try and sew it but that wouldn't work because it was too thick and my machine just couldn't handle that. Okay so here I am about to choose the colours and if I had orange I would have used it and it was giving me such Daphne vibes from Scooby-Doo. I now want to do a cosplay of Daphne. Um, I used yellow instead of orange, but like if I had a bit of orange, that would have been perfect. So now I'm kind of just blending all the colours in together a little bit, not too much. Um, you still want like splashes of each colour, but obviously you don't want massive chunks of each colour, or at least I didn't. 
exactly the effect I was looking for. So I kind of blended them all together before I started putting them onto the jumper. And here you can see me stabbing it with a needle. I would try and explain this, but I don't fully understand it myself, so I'm not going to try. But I am sure there are a lot of good needle felting videos and tutorials out there. You should definitely have a look if you are interested. It is a very, very long process. Here you can see me working into the night. Um, it took me a few days to do this, as you can see. Um, but it is enjoyable enough, you can kind of do it while you're watching TV, so that's that's always a bonus. Although, on this particular day, it was beautiful outside, like the best day we have had so far this year in Ireland, and I just really, really, really wanted to be at the beach. And I did not last long. After about an hour, I called my friend, I was like, do you want to go to the beach? And I put it down and went to the beach instead, because that was way, way more fun than sitting in my room needle felting and watching TV. Out comes my beautiful new overlocking machine. So I still need a name for this machine, so if you guys could let me know in the comments. I have a couple already, so once I have a few more I am going to put it up to a vote on my Instagram story, so definitely go check me out over there, I will leave a link in the description. Right, now. We turned this bad boy inside out. That was, it was inside out. Now, okay, so, I think I just wanna follow that line down like that. And then do the same on this side, so. I think these pins are kind of useless now. First one's done, that's good. Oh yeah, that's nice and even. Just gonna spread it like this. Nice. Okay, now just pull those little extra bits of thread in, or you can knot them. Let's try it on. So I was totally feeling myself here, and I was getting strong, strong 70s vibes off of this V-neck sweater, which is what I wanted. And I felt like I matched a lot of the furniture in the house. Here I am having a wee boogie with Alwis, my doggo. Um, so yeah, I was so happy with the way this turned out. I am able to tuck it up if I want it a bit shorter, um, like it is in this next clip. But if I want it a bit longer, then I can leave it untucked like here. And yeah, my neighbor drove past and I was feeling awkward. Um, congratulations, you have made it to the end of my video. Almost. You're not quite there, you've got at least a minute of me talking nonsense at you. I'm really not sure what I should say here right now. Um, thanks for watching my video. Please give it a like, give it a subscribe, hit the notification button, comment if you have anything interesting to say. I am still looking for names for my machines. I have a couple of suggestions. And once I have, you know, a handful of suggestions, I'm gonna put it up to a vote on my Instagram. So you should go follow me there if you want to get updates more regularly-ish. And that's kind of it. Thank you for watching my video and I possibly might see you again one day in another one. Bye.